I'm Steve Thiesing with Parametric Sound, here to introduce a step-by-step -step guide to set up and install your Hypersound system. Hypersound is a breakthrough audio experience, offering directionality and a third dimension to sound. When you're finished with this guide, you'll be able to experience Hypersound yourself. Enjoy. Items included. HSS 3000 emitters, amplifier and subwoofer combo box, AC-DC power supply, red and black speaker wires, 3.5 millimeter stereo plug to dual RCA jack cable. The standard HSS configuration includes the HSS amplifier. The subwoofer is optional and may not be required in most digital signage solutions. Before making audio connections, we must mount the optional stands to the emitters. Having these installed is an important part of the user experience. Begin by aligning the holes on the stands with the holes on the emitter and place the screws in those holes. Screw in the screws snugly, and once screwed in, place the screw covers over each one. Press down firmly to get a good fit. Repeat on the other side. Connection instructions. Note, it is strongly recommended that all connections be made with the HSS unit unplugged from the power source. Connect the one end of the red and black speaker wires to the back of each emitter and the other end to the back of the amplifier. You will find connectors for left and right speakers. Use the 3.5 millimeter stereo plug to dual RCA jack adapter. Connect the red and white RCA connectors to the back of the amplifier. Make sure that the AC cord is properly plugged into the AC-DC power supply before plugging the DC jack into the HSS amplifier unit. Plug the AC plug into a properly grounded AC outlet. The status LED indicator on the AC plug will display green, indicating the HSS unit is on and functioning. There is no power switch on the HSS unit. The HSS unit will automatically turn on if the AC-DC power supply is on. Connect your audio source, such as an MP3 player, iPhone, or iPad, to the 3.5mm audio jack. Input impedance, 10,000 ohms. Note, to prevent any static, please make sure the audio source cable is separated and not wrapped around the speaker wires. Please allow five minutes for the HSS unit to fully warm up to obtain full output sound pressure. To facilitate this warm up, your audio source should be connected to the HSS unit. It is preferred that the setup be in a large room such as a conference room and that the seating location be several feet forward of any hard walls to minimize sound reflections. This will ensure an optimal listening experience. Make sure both emitters have the exact same angle. You can achieve this by placing the emitters next to each other to ensure equal angle. Place the two emitters three to five feet from each other. Place the amplifier under the table between two emitters. Place a chair about five feet away from the emitters. HSS sound is very directional, so it is important that the emitters are pointed towards the listener's head. Direct the left emitter towards the listener's left ear and the right emitter to the right ear. Play a song track. The singer's voice should be in the center. You can adjust the emitters by turning them in and out to position the vocal image in the center. Adjust the chair location and emitter's direction to obtain optimal sound. You should hear the sound equally from each emitter. Volume is controlled by the audio source device. If you have a subwoofer, place the amplifier subwoofer under the table between two emitters. Adjust the bass with the dial in the back of the subwoofer. Generally, the dial should be at the 11 o'clock position. If a subwoofer was included, it should be pre-connected to the amplifier. If not, the cord should be plugged into sub out. To learn more, visit videoteldigital.com.